So I made it back from Trader Joe's and I'm going to show you what I got. Here's a little culprit. Uh, these are the restaurant style white corn tortilla chips. They're four points a serving and I love them. We get them every time. I got these Chomps uh, free range turkey um, meat sticks. These are one point each. Got some more salad. Um, this is the same one I get every time, the Les Salades de Midi. I got these to try. Um, I will have to put the points up because I'm not sure since I've never gotten them before. Um, I got a recipe for fried Oreos um, and you use the, the thin Oreos uh, and protein pancake mix to make them. So I'm gonna make some of those this weekend. Another repeat offender. Um, these are really good. I can't remember the points on them. I think it's three points, three or four points for seven cookies. I don't use all seven at one time. So um, I'll put the points up for, I do three at a time. I got some colorful carrot coins. These are really good, I love them. I drizzle a little bit of honey and some salt and pepper. Another usual culprit, mini cucumbers. Another repeat offender. Uh, this is the Mexican, light Mexican blend cheese. I get this every time I go and this is two points for a quarter cup. I got some Brussels sprouts because I'm going to roast them up in the oven and then I'll have them throughout the week. I had to get a little slice of home. Uh, this is Tillamook brand is a Oregon brand cheese uh, and I love it. This is the kosher medium cheddar and it is delicious. And then the last I got, I got some kombucha. Um, I got the watermelon one. I've gotten this one before. I really like it. This one is a new one to me. It's called Trilogy. I thought I would give it a try because I see this in the bigger bottles and thought it, if it's good, I'll do that. I got a pineapple one. This is another usual suspect. Then I got this one. This is healthy kombucha. This is the pink lady apple. Yeah, pink lady apple. Um, I've read reviews on it. It's really good. It's 80 calories for one bottle versus 50 calories for one bottle. Um, and then the golden pineapple is 60 calories. And then the watermelon is 70 calories per bottle. And then the other one I got is I got this brew doctor kombucha. It's called clear mind. It is rosemary, mint, sage, and green tea. Um, this one would be a day that I'm drinking a full bottle of kombucha for the day uh, at alternate. So I like to have ones that have the lids like this uh, because some, some days I drink half and some days I drink the whole one. But I thought I would give these a try. So I have three flavors to try this week and two different brands or two other brands. Um, I get the GTs usually. Yeah, the GT brand. This is one I usually get, but um, Brew Doctor was ranked really high uh, on the internet as well as the Health Aid Kombucha, which is this one. Um, I wish this had a reusable lid, but it is what it is. And that is all I got for Trader Joe's this week. Uh, Target, I got paper towels and toilet paper, which I don't need to show you. And then I got the Function of Beauty uh, shampoo and conditioner as well as some deodorant. So that was that. Okay, so I'm working on getting the zucchini fries ready. Um, I've gotten some on the tray already. And I'm just putting them on paper towels so that they can get a little moisture out because I want them to get crispy and I'm afraid that they won't if it is um, too moist. So, so what I do is I cut them in half and then I'm gonna cut this into a quarter lengthwise or a third because this is a smaller one so see I got three of them there and I'll just let these 
kind of air dry a little because um, it's too early to cook them for dinner. I'm also hoping that having the windows open in the house will cool it off a little bit because it got a little warm. When I get ready to do the breading part of the zucchini fries, I will come back. Thought I would try this on camera. This is the Brew Doctor Kombucha. This is the Clear Mind one. Rosemary, mint, sage, and green tea. Ooh, that's nice. It's not as herbally as I thought it was going to be. It says herbal with a bunch of notes there, but... Um, I don't think it's overly herbal. I mean, it's not unenjoyable. I like it. I'm going to drink this. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my <clears throat> Brussels sprouts. I'll probably have some of these with dinner as well. And they're really simple. I just take a little bit of olive oil. I'm just going to drizzle it on this pan. I have parchment paper down. And then I'm just going to salt and pepper underneath. And then simply just cut these. Now the ones that are big like this, I will cut in fourths. Um, I think they're a little too large to be just halved. Then I will put them in fours. I'm going to pop them on here. And then when I'm all done, I'll just toss them all together on the parchment paper. And call it good. Or I might just drizzle some over the top. Um, just depends how I feel. Uh, what it's looking like. Some of these... Um, do not have enough stuff underneath them, so probably going to toss them, but now this bag had some bigger pieces of Brussels sprouts, so I'm going to have to quarter them instead, but just for reference, this is what a normal Brussels sprout looks like, and this is one that came in there with it, so you just want to make sure that you cut them um, to where they're evenly the same size so that they cook even. Because um, you don't want to undercook them and you want them to get nice and uh, toasty on the bottom so that they get caramelized. So I think that's the best way to eat them. Some people eat them raw. Um, they're just like mini cabbage is what it is. So it's not a huge deal. I think they are in the cabbage family, but I'm not sure on that. They cut, they grow on, it grows like on a stick and then the, the little balls of Brussels sprouts are on it. So um, I know that's different than cabbage itself. And it'll look like this. Okay, so next I'm going to get my barbecue sauce ready. Um, I'm going to double up the barbecue sauce. So you'll need a half a cup of ketchup. And this is the Simply 
ketchup, um, no artificial sweeteners in it or anything like that. my little spatula. I've talked about these before. Sorry I'm so far away. I've got stuff on the stove so I can't put my little block up. So you're going to put your half cup of ketchup in there. And you're going to do uh, four tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. I'm using red wine because I don't have apple cider. And I think I'm going to only do three because it is a little stronger, I think. And then you're going to do a total of three tablespoons of half brown sugar. I'm using the Truvia. Um, I think this actually ends up being zero point barbecue sauce because of the fact I'm using the Truvia. Um, because it, is, it doesn't say trivia type or anything like that. It just says uh, barbecue sauce, or it just says brown sugar. You could also use the Lepanto brand um, if you wanna do a sugar substitute. Um, it's all up to you what you wanna do um, and it says two garlic cloves minced, but I'm not using garlic cloves, I'm just going to use some minced dried minced onion and I'm just going to do like a small palmful in there. And then you want three teaspoons of paprika, it says smoked paprika, I don't have that, so I'm using regular. And then you want to do three teaspoons of cumin. says three-fourths teaspoon of salt. Uh, I'm not going to double that. Um, I'm just going to put a couple little grinds in here. We don't use a lot of salt. So, And then you want a half a teaspoon of pepper. So again, I'm just going to eyeball it. And then you just mix it up. And I'm going to let this sit for a couple hours just so that the flavors can marinate. Um, and then I will put it on the chicken before it goes in the air fryer. And you just want to make sure you get all that brown sugar incorporated because it is, it gets a little lumpy, I think, at times. And you want to get those spices in there. Um, letting it marinate a little bit will also make sure that your powders get dissolved into the liquids. And it'll look like this. Looks pretty good, smells good. And this is from uh, the, this is from the Essential Weight Watchers cookbook, uh, is what I'm cooking out of today. And I'm just going to put some saran wrap over it. And let it sit. It'll sit for about two hours is what I'm planning on because I'm going to start dinner at about five and it's about three right now. And then I have a little uh, basting brush that I will brush it on to the chicken one. And while I'm waiting to start dinner, I'm going to go ahead and get the dipping for the fries um, together. 
and I'm going to double this as well. It needs three tablespoons of flour. I need a teaspoon of Italian seasonings and I'm just going to push on it with my thumb. Uh, that releases the oils that are in there since it is dried, it's not fresh. I need a little bit of salt. And then we need some breadcrumbs. And I'm using the plain panko breadcrumbs. You could use um, the uh, seasoned ones if you want. You would just reduce how much Italian seasoning. And I am just gonna put the rest in here because I don't think I have enough in this container. I just kind of eyeball it sometimes. You need about a half a cup, but I'm doing a little bit more because I want to make sure that they're all coated and crunchlicious. And then you're just going to take a fork. Mix it around in here. And then when you get ready to... Um, this is what it'll look like. Oh, hey, how about if I turn this on? There we go. That's a little better. Um, you can see, you can kind of see the herbs in there. Um, and then when you're ready, you would just take an egg um, to dip the zucchini into before you put it in here. And then you would put it directly onto the baking sheet so that you can put it into the oven. And I'm also going to make a salad tonight because um, I like to have salad on the side. So we'll be doing barbecue chicken breast, zucchini fries. I'll have some roasted Brussels sprouts and um, zucchini french fries. I think I just said that, but. Okay, so we'll be having barbecue chicken, zucchini fries, salad, and I will have some Brussels sprouts on the side. Hey, so I'm a dork and I didn't um, didn't get where I was showing how to make the zucchini fries. Uh, I thought it was recording and it was not. So all I did was I got a bowl with some egg, dipped the zucchini pieces in egg and then dipped it into the bowl with the breadcrumb flour mixture. Uh, and now I'm going to put them in the oven at um, 425 for 12 minutes or so and flip them somewhere in between to get them brown on the other side and I'm gonna get the chicken going okay so I got the chicken I'm just grabbing a brush to brush on the barbecue sauce I'm gonna spray a little bit of spray in the bottom of my air fryer and then we are going to open up the chicken and I'm only gonna do three chicken breasts, uh, husband, my son, and myself. Um, so I'm just gonna lay them in. Uh, this needs to have a little fat cut off. Bennington. Hello, little man. What are you doing? Okay. So I got the three pieces of chicken in there. And I'm going to take our barbecue sauce been sitting marinating for about a half hour and I'm going to just brush it around in here make sure it's all the way covered try to get the sides of it as well and 
I'm putting on a pretty good coating um, of it just because I want it to be nice and barbecue sauced. Gonna go in the air fryer at uh, 400 for about 15 minutes and it should be good to go. Hey guys, I forgot to uh, show it coming out of the oven in the air fryer, but this is what dinner looks like. Uh, the barbecue chicken, the Brussels sprouts, and the zucchini fries. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and give it a like and subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of the fam and I will see you in the next video.